Hoping to make President Biden a one-term commander-in-chief is preparing to accept his party's presidential nomination. The Republican National Convention begins Monday in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Georgia will have a massive presence at the event. Governor Brian Kemp and other local elected officials are expected to be there. Atlanta News first political reporter Doug Reardon spoke with political experts about what Georgia Republicans are doing to ensure a second Trump presidency. We're trading Atlanta skyline for Milwaukee's next week for our full coverage of the Republican National Convention. Of course, Georgia is a very important, very electorally valuable state and is certainly going to have a big presence at the event. On Friday, days before the kickoff of the Republican National Convention, crews set up lights and stages at Pfizer Arena in Milwaukee. This year's home of the RNC may be in the Midwest, but Georgia will have a big presence, sending dozens of delegates to cast votes for Donald Trump as nominee. It's sort of the Super Bowl of politics for a lot of these folks. Georgia's delegates are sometimes elected officials, but Dr. Ben Taylor with Kennesaw State University says most are simply regular people involved in local politics. They're small business owners, they're teachers, they're doctors and lawyers and firefighters, whomever, and they just really love politics. While collecting delegate votes is in the bylaws of the Democratic and Republican parties, it's more of a formality since the 1970s. Primaries and caucuses that happened months before the conventions all but set the nominees beforehand. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp will also be there, a sure sign that he'll be looking to expand his political horizons after his term as governor ends. This is always an opportunity to get name recognition, which is crucial for anybody who wants to run for national office. And we're also going to be keeping a close eye on debate over abortion at the Republican National Convention. For the first time in almost 50 years, the party left a call for a national abortion abortion ban out of their platform. The Democratic National Convention will take place in Chicago just a month later. From Midtown, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.